I'm kidnapping my friend's pet frog, putting all of his children in danger, and hanging him over the void. My lawyers told me I should probably clarify that I'm doing this in Minecraft. See, four months ago, my friend Wenzo punched me, my pet sheep. Ever since, I've gone on mission after mission, trying to restore Meep's legacy. But Wenzo is still bullying him with no remorse. So, to give him a taste of his own medicine, I want to get Wenzo's reaction to me torturing his pet frog, Clyde. So, I will be housing my entire operation in my brand new frog complex. And right in the center is the pit. I haven't dug it out yet. I'll, I'll get to that. Okay, now the pit is dug out. It is a pit all the way down to bedrock with a staircase. Now my funniest idea for torturing Clyde, Wenzo's pet frog, is to put his children in danger. And I'm going to do it by building this. Frog exhibits all the way down the pit. Each room will have one of Clyde's children. And each room will also have a different way you can die in Minecraft. I know this is incredibly mean, but drastic times call for drastic measures. This first exhibit literally just has one hidden piece of TNT. It's so beautiful. And here's the thing. The lower you go in the pit, Clyde's children will be in increasingly dangerous exhibits, with the final one at the bottom being for Clyde himself, where we'll put him over the void. But you've probably noticed something. I, I don't have Clyde. Obviously, I can't just get any normal frog for this project, even though Wenzo loves frogs, like, a lot. Using his own pet for my prank will guarantee the best possible reaction. To steal Clyde safely, I raided some enemies cities and made splash healing potions and uh i also needed to collect some milk see clyde isn't just in wenzo's house that would be too easy yeah no clyde is in there wenzo made a whole video building this place bringing clyde here in the process but then miles decided to destroy this huge region of nether around clyde it. could not be in a more dangerous location look at him down there what is he what is he doing to that chicken? It, it's actually hilarious how hard it's going yeah see there's like literally an elder guardian here and to make things worse for this prank to be effective against wenzo i needed to replace clyde with a lookalike. <gasps> frog 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 the closest frog i could find was three thousand blocks away <laughs> polar bear polar bear I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Whatever I did, we can settle it over a T or something, dude. After tirelessly getting Clyde 2.0 back to spawn, it was time to switch the frogs and steal Clyde. But then I noticed something strange. What is this rail? What is this rail? What is this rail? I'm actually a little bit scared that this has something to do with Wenzo. Rails had appeared all over the nether, running everywhere in the spawn area, both above ground and through secret tunnels. This was bad. Wenzo had invited Sandiction to the server to help with his video, getting achievement after achievement in the nether. If either one of them catch me stealing Clyde, my entire project is ruined. Okay, we gotta construct a path from the nether spawn all the way to there. That rail is literally sitting in my mind right now. Like, I'm so scared that that has something to do with him. <laughs> it looks so suspicious. But I'm hoping that's just because I know it's there. Oh, when's it left the game? He they both left the game? This is when I strike. This is when things get huge. Ah! Move in. Move in. Okay, we're across. We're across. Come on, bud. We don't want Wenzo logging back on, do no! we? Wait. Okay. Actual Wenzo jump skip. We are in. We are in the cage. Clyde 2.0, please make this easy for me. Already failed. We've already failed, Clyde. Clyde 2.0. Come on, Clyde 2.0. Boom. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I could just call this Clyde replacement Clyde just normally. Ooh, die. Stop. 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 Anyways, what I was saying. You cannot just name it the same thing. Clyde 2.0. That's way too obvious. This is what an L looks like, and this is a vertical slash. There's a one pixel difference. In Wenzo's next video, Clyde's name is going to have a one pixel difference. And I highly doubt he's going to notice because I know that I wouldn't. After the most stressful 10 minutes of my life, I had safely stolen Clyde. And Wenzo will have no idea. And yes, I did destroy all of the evidence. But with the frogs for the project taken care of, I can finally get back to building exhibits. 
and complete. Now, I know what you're thinking. None of these cactuses can actually do damage, but a frog will inevitably just die on accident. Like, it'll just run into a normal cactus and die. And I know this video concept is brutal, but we don't want them to actually die. So instead, we just have cactuses inside of these flower pots. Nice and safe. But just to make this room actually dangerous in some way, I left it up to the player. You know, there will be a frog in there. And if you press this button, you can, uh, you can send the frog to an early grave. I have to fix the whole room now. I actually have a really exciting idea for exhibit three because when digging out the pit, I realized that the third exhibit would very clearly run into this cave back here. So I want to do something with that for this room. Now with the looking area complete, we can turn the cave into the deep dark. I hope that transition looked cool. Of course, there is glass blocking off the rest of the cave because, guys, we don't want the frogs actually dying, okay? But yeah, this exhibit is just going to be more of a fun visual thing. These shriekers shouldn't actually spawn wardens. I mean, it looks dangerous. Progress towards the frog complex and to my prank was going great. But while constructing the two exhibits, I was really trying to piece together what Wenzo was doing. I mean, he brought Sandiction onto the server and was now forcing people not to sleep. My gut instinct was telling me that he was doing something bad. He's literally bullied my pet sheep multiple times. Honestly, I was a bit worried that what he was doing involved me. But with no solid proof or evidence, I decided to turn my focus to building a frog sanctuary because it was time to start getting Clyde's children for the exhibit. This meant that I could finally introduce Clyde to Clydette. Oh, they're looking away. They're looking away from each other. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Clyde's first child. But even while waiting for the frogs to grow up, once again, Wenzo was telling people not to sleep. He's saying it again. Why? I'm actually confused dude. i could not ignore this any longer as i put the frogs into their exhibits i decided that i would go to spawn to get some intel about wednesday and before i could even meet with anyone my suspicions were proven right in the most devastating way possible wait what why is this here why is there a hole wait what where's meep Where's Meep? Dude, I knew as well that I should have moved. I was literally going to move Meep to the frog complex because the whole server knew that he was here for my last video. And um, I guess I'm too late. I, I, I guess Meep is just gone now. Immediately, all clues led to Wenzo as the culprit. There's a chance he noticed the difference in Clyde's replacement and stole Meep in retaliation. But I couldn't come to that harsh conclusion without any proof. So I decided to meet up with my team, those who had fought alongside me for Meep in my last episode. You are, by some stroke of luck, the only Meepster available right now because Aeon is uh, camping and Estelina was um, banished. Yeah. So, He's very strong and humble. I have my suspicions that it's Wenzo, and that worries Possible. me because I don't know what Wenzo has planned. Wenzo is quite a formidable opponent. He's a smart guy. I began sharing everything Wenzo had been doing the past few days, and luckily, Wyra had even more information. Wenzo had gotten both the throwaway joke achievement for using a trident and the subspace bubble achievement for traveling 10,000 blocks using the nether. The tasks Wenzo was doing, however, seemed to be completely random. So, so we tried to trick one of his teammates into giving us more information about his plans. I, 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 honestly, all I did was just help out a little bit for like 10 minutes like earlier on. He said, swear by Herobrine that like you were not telling anyone. Oh, okay. I did if that. it's on Herobrine's word. I, 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 I did it on Herobrine's word, so. Yeah, okay. After everything, all we could piece together is that Wenzo's project was really far away and he was forcing people not to sleep to start thunderstorms. Yeah, we're literally no closer to figuring this out. In the meantime, I decided to build more frog exhibits for my prank while thinking. And I was actually so confident that Wenzo stole Meep by this point that I used lava, the first thing in one of these rooms that can actually deal damage. If Wenzo is behind everything, I want as good of a reaction as possible when I show him this place. As for the next exhibit, you better not right-click the bed, bud. If you right-click the bed, you die a horrible, horrible death. But then, another Another lead to Wenzo presented itself. Chief had been lured to spawn just to be killed by Wenzo. I was going to get to the bottom of this. What's your relationship with Wenzo at the current moment? Uh... He killed me earlier today. Unfortunately, Chief was just as clueless as us about Wenzo. But we did learn that he was killed with an empty inventory. Meaning that Wenzo killed him just for his head. Makes sense. Or, because he really likes watching me die. Tazo, I don't think it's safe to discuss this here. Should we go inside your skull? Is it a, is it a literal, like, 
Woo! Like him Woo! Okay. okay. Why would he get Sandiction? Like, what would Sandiction help him with? And why would he need Chief's head? Sandiction is the king of trapping mobs. That's what he's known for. Wait, and he was doing the lightning thing. So it could be a charged creeper. Like, what if this this has to be mob related? Wait, oh my god, what am I saying? Yesterday, at 10 past 10, Wenzo messaged me, spamming me in DMs. Was actually going like, blah, 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 blah. are you able to get online for five minutes? Then he tried cooling me. And then in full cap said, never mind. It's definitely a mob related video. Chief and Wyra, the two animal skins on the server getting messaged. Makes sense to me. And Sandiction the king of trapping mobs and Wenzo's brought him on the server just like that everything made sense Wenzo was making a video about collecting mobs in minecraft and he stole meep as one of them all we had to do now was wait for Wenzo to come to spawn and then secretly follow him back to his project and we prepared hard I mean we made a bunch of invisibility potions planned out positions for each of us to maximize our chances of finding his hidden portal chief even made up a fake story to get Wenzo to come to spawn. But you want to know how we ended up finding it? Wyra saw Wenzo fly away on the nether roof a week ago. He flew in that direction and, um, we, what do you know? We found, found everything. Found it. Found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. What? No way. No way. <laughs> no I found way. it. Dude, no way. Dude, no way. I told you. I told you. I found him going in that direction. So I Bro. flew in. I a freaking lottery ticket. Dude. Are you kidding me? This, to be fair, the fact that we guessed exactly what video he's doing is kind of impressive. Yeah. That's detective me. skills on its me. own. We me. Dude, I can't believe we actually found him. What the No. Heck? No, 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 no. It's him. Oh, yeah. Wenzo's Make on the base. Wenzo. Make sure you end this. Make sure you stay in this. Make sure you stay I'm in not in this. I'm, he left. He left. He left. You just stay with me. Please, 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 please. Go down. Go down. Go down. You dig me. I'm going to get the portal. Boys, I've got eyes in case you need anything. Sure I have a freaking like, ghillie suit. This is so cool. Take that one. So let's go. I can't believe I found it. What on earth? I'm just so happy that I get to see Meep's beautiful face again. We safely got Meep out of the area and stashed him hundreds of blocks away. But Wenzo logged back in after a few minutes. And our best idea was making Wenzo think Chief was in a trap at spawn. It was our only chance to get Wenzo to leave. Please tell me this works. Chief, you have to die. That's the only way I'm that you can I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Due to his logout position being right next to Meep's cage, he noticed that he was gone before we could do anything. Because of our histories on this server, Wenzo would likely kill me or hurt Meep if I owned up to this rescue mission. So Wyra had to convince Wenzo that he was the only person behind this operation. I am the one who found Meep, and you are not gonna believe how I found this place. Like, it's actually mad. I, yeah, because I did everything I could to cover my tracks. I still think it's wrong that all Tazo seems to care about is sheep. I don't agree with the fact that he, he's been vandalizing our server with sheep statues. I don't agree with all those sort of radical actions he's taken. I also admit that I was in the wrong for punching Meep in the first place and of course for dying him. Are you kidding me? Apparently this whole thing was just a huge misunderstanding, but Wenzo could easily be lying to keep this between him and Wyra. This has to be a sham. You mean to tell me that Wenzo stole my pet sheep, put him in a cage and wants to say sorry? First of all, Meep fell back into Wenzo's hands and would be heavily guarded past this point. All I can do is wait for Wenzo. So in the meantime, I'm pressing forward with my prey. And before long, I was finished with the upper exhibit. Seven rooms, each with one of Clyde's children in a different form of danger. Click the lever and BAM! Mobs are spawned. See, the pit passes through a large cave where I'm unable to make exhibits. Since I now know that Wenzo stole me, the rooms below the cave are going to be much more intricate and much more dangerous. And we can finally hang Clyde over the void, sealing his fate. Wenzo isn't getting Clyde back anytime soon. Now, my plan for these lower exhibits is to make these entrance rooms the same size, but the actual exhibits are going to be much larger and just way cooler. And now it's time to finally give you guys a good idea of what these lower exhibits are going to be like. Now, I'm not too proud of this, but it has to be done. These guys can survive um, three hits from a wooden shovel before they die. I'm really sorry. I'm actually so sorry. Now, in order to make the final exhibit, I'm going to need some hard to obtain materials. So it's time to expand the frog complex. Okay, so as you can tell, one or more of the exhibits is going to involve potions in some way, but I have literally nothing to uh, brew potions with. Ooh, two blaze powder. This is, it's not enough. Yeah, I needed a lot of things. 
I hope you like my montage. The only thing left to do before our brewing layer is complete is to build a place to farm nether war. There we go. This area is really looking nice. This should be everything I need for the two types of potions that I'm going to be making. And the first potion I need is poison. The good thing about poison is that it damages the frog, but it will not kill it. Nether war, spider eyes, redstone, and gunpowder, and also ice powder. And just like that, we have splash potions of poison. I just have to repeat that process four times. Times. Now we can get to work on the next exhibit. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't want to talk about it. Yes, it works. No matter where you are on the floor, you're going to get hit. Now we can bring our actual poison potions down to the new exhibit. Uh, okay. All loaded up with poison. Are you ready? Are you ready to make history? Yeah, he's ready. Oh my, that's actually awesome. Yeah, look, he's still affected, but no longer taking damage, which means he's on the lowest health possible. He's probably feeling quite awesome right now. Building the lower exhibits was going great, and I already had plans for some of the final rooms. But after a day of not hearing from Wenzo, he asked me to come and meet. Him. It's obvious we've been a uh, kind of disagreement and conflict over, well, mainly Meep, as you can see. Vandalizing our beautiful server. I do want you to follow me. At this point, I'm thinking that the worst has happened. Maybe Wenzo found out Clyde was stolen, found my secret project, he's done something to me, but I could immediately tell that he was leading me to his project, and I had no idea what to expect. I've been working on this for the past few days relentlessly. Basically, I, th I think you can start to see I've collected loads of different animals, put them all into their enclosures. I even have the main G, Clyde, down here. Black goat! He's so awesome. You can come over here to the main enclosure of them all. And you can the see your boy. <gasps> the guy the guy you've been missing this whole time. I didn't want to do any cheering or dying. I think I've, I've done enough of that in the past. I hope you can see me kind of kidnapping me wasn't some sort of act of hostility. Or was not with mean intention. It's all to kind of... Oh, I don't know how to say this. Kind of to apologize. Like, I don't mind you still spreading the message of Meep over the server. I feel like we could figure out a, a better way to do that. Yeah, he wasn't lying this whole time. Wenzo still has no idea that I'm trying to get revenge. And that I stole Clyde and am torturing him. And just to prove his innocence even more, he showed me this. If we look here, you'll see there's a group chat named Skull. Nine members? He is going to be taking over the entirety of our spawn with Skull to get back at Tazo for playing facing meeps everywhere. Miles had formed a team of nine players, all planning on covering Spawn and Skulk in retaliation to the meep statues I built. And I think Miles was also doing it because he's losing in our sub race to 500k. <clears throat> Any, anyway, Wenzo, the owner of the frog that I've been, lack for a better word, torturing, wanted to join me. I, I had no idea what to do, but there was no time to think. I don't want Spawn or any of our server covered in skull. So Wenzo and I are going to team up against Miles. And we thought of a funny way to get him back. While him and his team play Skulk all over Spawn, we'll be turning Miles' base completely granite. It's his least favorite block. Okay, according to Wenzo, they are starting far from Spawn and moving their way in. This is actually perfect. If we get caught, uh, it's over. He far outnumbers us. Yeah, hopefully he has no reason to come to his underground area. Oh, this looks absolutely horrible, though. <laughs> this is already looking absolutely disgusting in here. But, I mean, it will be a taste of his own medicine, because he's literally basically doing the same thing to Spawn. This is going to look so ugly. <laughs> it looks so bad. I'm sure he's going to love this it. This room literally looks like the embodiment of vomit. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Granite. Do you like it, Miles? No, I don't <laughs> like it. Oh, it's. Uh. I wonder what your basement looks like. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what your basement looks like, Miles. Go down there. <laughs> I spent so long in that basement. <laughs> yeah, oh, we spent sake. so long on spawn. <laughs> Uh, why are you the farms as well? I'm making it pretty good, to be honest. Although this was a success, I had no idea what to do. Wenzo said he wants to officially partner, but I'm morally divided. Wenzo stopped me every step of the way when I was saving me, but I do feel bad for Clyde now that I know he's sorry. Now, I do still want to prank Wenzo and get his reaction to what I've made to ensure that this prank doesn't make us enemies again. 
I spent eight hours building this. And I really hope that that transition looked good because I am not turning that into a montage. The random forest that was above the frog complex is now a cherry blossom park with both statues of me and... Oh, there's also a statue of Clyde here. He is so awesome. The center building is a library, and it's not for the reason that you think. I really needed an excuse to use these new chiseled bookshelves because I really wanted to make a secret entrance using them. And oh my gosh, guys, this is so cool. It even closes up from the inside as well. Oh my gosh. I don't have to break through the floor to get in here anymore. But the point of building this cherry blossom park is to prove that I want to be friends with Wenzo. Now I can still do my prank, because it'll be really funny. And then I can reveal everything that has happened and give Clyde back. Let's build the final three exhibits. Psychological damage counts as well, right? Also, frogs can't jump off of honey blocks. So this is my meanest room yet. For the next exhibit, I am going to be making healing potions, which requires melons and gold. But I'm also going to need arrows. I think you know where this is going. So I am going to build a chicken farm. Now I could just get some random chickens for my farm, but the person that made this area, uh, Stelina, was actually uh, banished. So I think I'm just gonna take a few of these. <laughs> Wait, there's so many eggs here. Yeah, this is way better than spending hours breeding chickens. Constructing this entire wheat farm was completely useless. But with this area fully built, that makes our potion brewing room complete. Come with me, buddy. Yeah, really don't know why all those frogs like that azalea bush so much. Okay, the frog is in safe and sound. You can literally just do this forever and the frog will just never die. That's why we got healing two arrows, the most useless item in the game. It was finally time to build Clyde's exhibit. A simple room with the floor removed to reveal the void. But first I need to make a custom entrance and a custom room for this. Hopefully it looks good. There's some bedrock in the floor uh, due to poor planning, but it's fine. Now it's time to build the actual exhibit. And all I have to do is break the bedrock with this simple redstone machine. How do people come up with designs for this? Now, luckily I was doing this consistently, but it still took three hours to remove all of the bedrock. And this gave me a lot of time to think. To be honest, I've slowly realized that what Wenzo and I fought against, the skulking of spawn is exactly what I did with Meep statues. Yeah, it wasn't all that nice looking. I'm done fighting for Meep in radical ways. As soon as this prank is over, I'm returning Clyde and releasing all of the frogs from the complex. All I'm saying is I hope this Frank doesn't ruin my chances of us teaming. With this lava added, the final room is now complete, and I actually really like it for the sole reason that it looks exactly like a, uh, a thumbnail. <laughs> now comes time for literally the most stressful point of this entire video. Why do they like this azalea bush so much? What do you want? Clyde is also finally getting to learn what happened to all of his children. I'm so terrified to deal any damage to you. All we have to do now is the most terrifying maneuver of all time. Oh! <gasps> I'm gonna break the first block. I'm gonna break the first block. You're bouncing so much, Clyde. Stop. What are you doing? Okay. Oh my god. The funniest thing is, is as you approach, you just see a lead. As you get closer, he'll start jumping. I feel so bad, but Clyde... Don't worry, you will be saved in due time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the completion of the frog complex. It's time to show Wenzo. But yeah, we are here. My cherry blossom part. I basically created this place to immortalize our team, our friendship. I've constructed my final three Meep statues. That's our all filled with... TNT mine cut! So oh, good! Mm, no. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry for ever disrespecting you. If we come back here, I've also built a nice Clyde statue. Ah! <laughs> Come with me into the library. If you put a book in this exact slot, secret door. It's not done very much here. Do you have piston sounds on? Oh, no, my block sounds are off. Whoops. Okay, <laughs> go, do it again. Wenzo, oh. I know that you're a person, a man, who likes frogs. I would like you to say hello to the frog complex. And after a brief explanation of the fact that Wenzo hasn't had the real Clyde for two weeks, it was time for the prank. Frog was hit with a wooden shovel. Three. Why <laughs> would you do that. that? Why would you do that? For funsies. A green test tube. Right, what's this going to An anvil? Why would you do that? Oh, God. That doesn't look fun at all. It's kind of funny. Can I go in <laughs> No, no, no. You haven't seen Clyde in a while, so here he is. <laughs> um, 
Why would you do that? Okay, but don't worry. Now that you're here, I'm going to save him. These guys like to jump a lot, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we should cover the whole void area. No, but we should be bold and brave. It's Clyde. I don't want to be bold and brave. <laughs> the lead is... Oh! <gasps> I'm just kidding. Clyde's right here. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought I killed Clyde! Wait, Wenzo, does this mean that Clyde X Meep is real? Uh, I don't want you to phrase it like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's